But there is one person who did make it out, chat, who did get out of the hood. We're going to get out of the hoods of, of New York with this one. And I told I called it. I just want to remind everybody. I fucking called it. Uh, shoe on head is a mother. She has a baby boy. I don't know if this image was going to fucking load. It was loaded already, and then I refreshed the page, and now it's not loading. Um, she, by the way, people uh, said I was late because I called that she would be pregnant in 2024. I called that she would be pregnant in both 2023 and 2024, and I was right in both. I, I thought for sure she would have a kid last year uh, or be announced that she was pregnant, but she never did, and then it was born this year. So I was right. Common W, common W. I was right. Um, there were so many nasty fucking comments to this, though, that it's, like, crazy. Um, lots of people just wanted the baby to die. Like, oh, she had a child at 32, therefore it's going to have SIDS. Like, what a fucking awful thing to say. Or just like, oh, she's a, she's a YouTuber, so she's going um, to kill the baby on accident. Because she's a YouTuber, and therefore she's going to murder her baby. Like, like, what a fucking terrible thing to say. There's just, like, so many people who are, like, angry about this on, on Twitter and on the Kiwi forums. Like, how di how dare she? Oh, people angry at him. Though, I, I mean, I kind of understand that, where it's like, oh, so she's, like, she's fucked a black guy and did creepy BDSM shit on the internet. Um, so, and, and her nudes are out there, so he's, like, a simp for getting with her. I kind of, I personally, I would not. <laughs> I would not. I, I would never live that down. Like, you know what I mean? If I had hooked up with someone like June, um, then that would just be like a, a fucking never-ending nightmare of people just spamming me her nudes <laughs> constantly or anyone anyone who is like an internet personality like that. That would be a fucking nightmare. Uh, so I kind of understand that. But at the same time, I don't know. Good for her. Good for her for putting that shit behind. And I just want to remind everybody because I didn't have this queued up, but I re regret it now. I'm going to find it real quick. I made a tweet. Oh, yeah, break your chains. Exactly. That's what I was looking for. Um, this is Gregory. Gregory holding a leash that is attached to June, who is taking this picture. He literally has, like, a dog sleeping thing on the floor. He has a dog bowl that he filled up, and he was holding a leash. She's, like, naked. And uh, she was in a 24-7 BDSM relationship with this guy. And uh, talking about how she loves it, loves sucking his dick more than than air, just like the most humiliating shit she could possibly have. And the really, really funny thing is that she broke her chains. Actually, she didn't even she didn't even break her chains on her own. She the day she turned 30, literally on her 30th birthday, Armored Skeptic broke up with her and said, I deserve better. I deserve a better whammon. Oh, man, I cannot fucking believe I don't have this queued up. Um, so he broke up with her, and his channel just immediately fucking collapsed. Because what happened, this is my theory, is that June, like, with, with her, like, I'm going to be, like, a total obedient dog woman for Gregory. I'm gonna, it, it, like, pumped his ego up so much. He's like, yeah, yeah, I am a Kang. I am a Kang. My whammon knows I'm a king. In fact, I deserve a younger queen. Actually, I don't deserve just a younger queen. I deserve multiple queens. So he, like, opened their relationship. She tolerated this. They lived long distance, and she tolerated an open relationship where he would go out and fuck other girls that were younger than her. And then he dumped her when she was 30. And then he realized later on, oh, shit, that was the best I was ever going to get. That that woman was like completely and totally in love with me and gave me everything I ever fucking wanted. And I just treated her like a dog woman and humiliated her on the internet. And now I dumped her on her 30th birthday and wasted all of her youth in this long-term, long-distance relationship that went nowhere. And she fucking hates me. And then she just immediately hooks up with like this, like this guy that's like a fan of hers. That's like kind of well-adjusted. I think people made fun of him for being like a schizoid because he was like Catholic and he was talking about demons. But now it's like, now he's like a trendsetter in retrospect. Now everybody talks about fucking demons and, and how demons run the run politics and demons are trannies and demons are sonnet two medallions. He wasn't a schizophrenic. He was ahead of the fucking curve at that point. 
So I don't know. Um, he knocked her up immediately. He's like, okay, I'll find, I, I will forgive you for your nude leak. I'll forgive you for burning the coal like 15 years ago. But you got to get knocked up immediately. Non-negotiable. I am Catholic. No, no contraception whatsoever. Um, I mean, he and it's kind of like, okay, he said he saw demons for real, and he's bald. But June is also bald, so that cancels it out. That was the other thing, by the way. She has that thing where she, like, has OCD and eats her own hair, so she's, like, bald and has to wear a wig. To the point where she, um, she has to eat, she's literally wearing a wig in the maternity ward, because if she didn't, <laughs> she, so her, like, water broke, I guess, and she woke up early in the morning, like, oh, fuck, my water broke. Let me put in my wig real quick and... <laughs> Let's go, let's go to the ER. <laughs> it's happening now. Uh, give me my give me my weave and my mirror. I'm gonna thread it in while I'm in the back of the back seat. Don't worry about it. Uh, so <laughs> that's what happened with that. I mean, that was his deal. Like, look, I'll deal with the wigs. I'll deal with the coal. I'll deal with um with the uh, the weird BDSM shit on the internet. But knocked up immediately, and she was like, okay, sure. <laughs> whatever i'll um i'll make sure to salt all the doors and windows so that the demons can't in and we're we're hitting the shit off real fast and i was like okay so i consider that a compromise relationships are a series of compromises chat you have to find a halfway point not no two people are a perfect match it's just a series of compromises and in this case uh she had to break her chains and he had to uh cope and sneed with her online reality I'm happy for her in case I'm sounding like a huge dickhead. I think of all possible realities, breaking up with Pregory and, and hooking up with a a lovely, well-adjusted simp who sees demons and doesn't see her past um, is the best possible thing she could have hoped for. I celebrate the, the birth of a white child, chat. What's the... That's a, Volk oni kind? Volk oni zukunft? Ja... Bitte. Danke. Okay. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.